Hello and welcome to this tutorial and today we are going to Tecla Structures Hotkeys. Hotkeys means just uh, keyboard shortcuts. So I want to show you some tips on how you can create your own Tecla Structures shortcut keys. So this will be very important when it, when it comes to speeding up your modeling time and drawing creation Tecla Structures. Now we'll switch back to file here and click on that then come to settings. Now our main target is to create our own hotkeys or uh, keyboard shortcuts to speed up our modeling time and drawing creation on general detailing Tecla structures. Now I'll come to settings and click on settings and come to customization here and pick on keyboard shortcuts there and click on that. This window will come up. So this is a list of all instructions for detailing, modeling and drawing and, and drawing creation Tecla structures. So we have about Tecla structures. So all these instructions, you can assign a, a keyboard shortcuts against it so that you don't go around for, uh, running around looking for a command to perform the same ta uh, uh, tax, uh, task. Now, I'm going to assign that. Like here, I'm going to select or add assembly here. I'll, you can assign a shortcut to it. If you come to add bolts points, you can, ass you can assign a shortcut to it and make sure you master that because it will be assigned here also. You can come back and uh, check against it and um, memorize it. Memorize it. Add a grid line. You can assign a, um, a shortcut to that. Now we want to try. We want to place uh, the tiling. I want to tile. I want to place multiple views on my uh, on my Tecla structures display on my Tecla structures window. Now I'll go to tile. Type tile here. And just type, there are huge instructions, there's so many, they're massive instructions, so you can go an item by item, just pick whatever you want to, to customize, just type it here and it will be found, it will be filtered out. Now, we want to uh, tile this horizontally or vertically. So I'll pick on the vertical, pick on the vertical here, so the moment you pick on this, come here and enter your shortcut, click on that and type your shortcut i normally use control against a number so i'll press control zero so if i press control zero you'll be able to see it assigned here so the moment you press control s maybe let's clear this one first select on it and clear so you'll try if we assign uh, if we assign a shortcut keys here that has been already assigned to another a command in Tecla structures, you'll be able, you'll be, it will, the conflict will be displayed here. So let's see, let's see, like Control A means Control All, or Control, uh, or Select All. Control S means Save. So I'll try Control S. So if I, if I press Control S, you'll be able to see will, the conflict will be shown. You can see this has been assigned to Save, so we can we can assign it to a tile window horizontally. So we'll get off that by clearing that. So you come back and select that and select on this. The moment it turns yellow, you can go ahead and assign your, key, your hotkeys. So I'll go ahead and, and type, press control zero. So this will be assigned to tile window horizontally. I'll go ahead and, and assign it there. So once you've done that, just go ahead and click close and try that on your window. So I'll press control zero and you'll see everything getting tiled. Instead of going to window and pick the tool there, that will be absolute wastage of time. So you work here and there on your, on your fingers on, on, a, on, on your keyboard and you chase down the time. That is very critical. Now, I'm going to maximize this once again and come back to uh, file and, and pick on settings here. So we want to sign a different hotkey to a, diff a different instruction. So we'll go straight to maybe you just walk around, have a walk around the list to see what you might be find useful that normally takes a lot of your time to look around the technical structures and, and assign a hotkey against it. Now, we'll scroll down and maybe we want, uh, we want um, maybe add options, advanced options. We don't need that, that, that one we can access directly. If we, if we scroll down, maybe Area load, we don't need that. Riba, attach Riba to part, auto drawing, auto save. 
all this the, this the massive instructions where you can assign your your instru your your hotkeys to so i'll just scroll down and pick anything let me just try and click drawing d drawing there drawing so we have drawing layout we have the drawing layout we have the drawing list we have export drawing we have the general arrangement drawing properties we have the macro auto draw we have the macro auto drawings so we have the macro erection drawing macro erection drawing so we have, we have macro erection drawing so we can assign we can assign uh, we can assign some sort of we can assign a hotkey to this then we said we have select it then we'll come here and select on that what we're going to do we are going to just straight and apply a hotkey to it so what I'm going to do it this is customizable you, you can pick any kind of uh, character and, and assign to that to, to that spot so I'm going to press control maybe control 7 there so that will be my macro, uh, macro erection drawing so I'll go ahead and assign that to that pick on that and close so maybe let's try on on, on, the, on the modeling section and I'll, pry, and I'll go ahead and click control 7 and nothing happens because this is on this is on the modeling section so it's also in the modeling section and this the moment you press that that dialog box for that particular macro will, will come up this is the drawing erection drawing dialog box so erection drawing di dialog box is very useful if you want to create er 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 erection drawings we just select on this you can select on this select on the drawing you want to, to create and come here and click just click create and that is this is not the point for us today on how to use the action drawing type and macro our key is to generate to show you how you can customize your creature on hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts now we'll go back there click on file and come to settings once again and walk around if you have time just walk around and see what you can assign your hotkeys against now remember we have our cause in, uh, in Udemy and please don't forget to subscribe to one of the calls just go 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 straight to Udemy and type Maurice Dimba right there Maurice Dimba right there and I'll be there and pick on that so I added another advanced course and pick one and get some uh, some uh, some training so, some training on tecla structures so just go and, and select on that and scroll down this is an, an advanced this is we have the the content display this is the course and here is the display of the content you can play that and listen to the and, and see the slides of the content of the course and, and this is a very intense course you, you find time pass by and check you can read all that all this is all these are what you acquire and uh, i mean what you learn from from this particular course advanced training course of, of technical structures now, these are the what, these are the requirements: basic and intermediate level training, technical structures, and the background in civil structural and technical engineering. Uh, just background in architectural and in other relevant engineering trade. Who is this course for? Civil engineer, structural engineer, mechanical architect, steel retailer, and beam experts. And that's about it. And pass by, please, and subscribe and get one copy and get advanced tech structures don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye i'm Maurice Limba, and let's see you then